But yet it was their initiative when we saw that our coppers were not doing very well. So we had to think of how we could use our, our Harvest Sunday money so that we should not be in debt where your offices are concerned. <laughs> and so we partnership that you are going into, but also want to provide accommodation for them. At the same time that the resources that you are going to generate will be used for the services that we are doing, especially taking care of the vulnerable among ourselves, telling our parish. I know you all the diocese about <laughs> to pin. <laughs> okay, I try to
thank you for the initiative that our brothers and sisters in the parish began. For seeing the need of uh, housing, the need for having resources to maintain the parish, as well as contribute to all those services that we do, especially for the women for our members. Bless this initiative. And there's so many other initiatives that are going to come. Bless this house and all those that are going to live in. Those that are living that they may be committed to this service that they are being rendered. Also in reciprocating the gesture of love and mercy shown by the parish, they may also contribute generously to the copper of the parish. Bless us and bless our work. Guide us and, be, and always protect us from all evil.
Join our live broadcast. His Grace, the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Lusaka, took time to bless the houses built by Divine Mercy Parish in Chaisa. They have built a flat of three houses, of which the parish will be using as a way of regenerating income. These houses will be on rent and the occupants will remit the payments to the parish to enable and strengthen the coffers of the parish. At the moment, His Grace the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Lusaka is taking a walk through Chaisa compound, engaging with the faithful within the township understanding their way of life and how they live and knowing their day-to-day -day activities. Continue following our live stream as we give you feedback from Chaisa's Divine Mercy Parish. As a shepherd, the Archbishop of Lusaka has got a mandate and an obligation to understand 
the life that his flock are leading each and every day. And so through these pastoral visitations, his grace engages and understands the daily activities, the daily life of the people that are under his jurisdiction. Today is the second Sunday of uh, Divine Mass, the second Sunday after Easter, and uh, in the Catholic tradition, this day is celebrated as the Divine Mercy Sunday. Through this Divine Mercy Sunday, we celebrate God's mercy upon His children. The mercy that God expresses to His children at the, as we witness the Paschal sacrifice and the resurrection of the Lord. Through the resurrection, God gives us a second chance to live on our lives through his mercy. And in a special way, the Archbishop of Lusaka takes a visit through Chaisa's township. Chaisa is divided, is between Emmasdale and Chaisa Township. and ululation, we could attest to the fact that the faithful of Chaisa's Divine Mercy Parish are excited and happy and they express the joy that the Chief Shepherd has taken time to visit their township, to pray with them, but also to witness their daily life.
Thank you for joining our live broadcast, reaching you from Chaisa's Divine Mercy Parish, where the Archbishop of Lusaka took time to pray with the faithful of Chaisa's Divine Mercy Parish. During the solemn celebration, the Archbishop confirmed a number of confirmants. These are people who have, been in, who have been empowered with the gift of the Holy Spirit as they continue to live their Christian and faithful life. 